What's going on guys, Jen here from Jen Plays Minecraft, and today I'm going to be doing a part 2 to my enchanting video that I released recently, a 1.8 enchanting tutorial. Um, as you can see, there's my, uh, I guess you could say my studio down there, my setup, my stage. Um, I built a little thing up here, I thought it would be nicer to have a little bit of a, a contrast so you can actually see what I'm doing a little bit easier. Um, but today I'm going to be focusing on anvils, and how to use anvils to enchant tools. Uh, and weapons using enchanted books. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go over to your enchantment table, grab some books, throw some books in, some lapis, and enchant away, my friends. Simple as it is, book, lapis, enchant. Efficiency 4, thorns 2, power 4, etc. Okay, now that we've enchanted some books, what you want to do is, um, let's see, throw some anvils down. You go into your anvil, you grab a weapon of choice, you grab uh, an enchantment book of choice, let's say sharpness 3, and golden sword will give you golden sword of sharpness 3. It's pretty simple. It took three enchantment levels, it does take enchantment levels, um, but it is, you know, you get to choose what you want on your on your tools or your armor rather than it being random like it used to be. Sword Smite 1. Golden Chest Plate. Fire Protection 1. Fire Protection 1. Very simple. There is a way to combine enchantments now. It has to be the same sword, obviously. It has to be golden if it's golden. And, um, and if you have, say, a sword with sharpness and knockback, and you have another sword with smite and looting. Let's see what happens when we throw those up in the top. End up with sharpness, knockback, looting. Now you notice sharpness and knockback are both on the first one. And you are enchanting this or the first sword with the second sword, which has smite and looting. So sharpness, knockback, and looting. Sharpness, knockback, and looting. You lose the first enchantment on the second sword, the second item. <clears throat> I don't know why this is, but this is just the way it is. So, if you do the same thing, smite and looting, sharpness, knockback. This time you get smite, looting, and knockback. You lose the sharpness too, because it's the first enchantment. It also costs a heck of a lot of enchantment levels. 25, yeah. So if we take sharpness, knockback, and sharpness, or I'm sorry, if we take this one, smite, looting, throw it with Bane of Arthropods in Knockback 2, you lose the Bane of Arthropods, which isn't a bad thing, but, you know, that's just the way it is, because that's the first enchantment on the second item. That's how you combine enchantments. That's how you combine enchanted swords, and that's the method behind uh, what enchantments you keep on the swords. Alright, so for the last part of this video, I'm going to show you how to take already enchanted armor or tools and how to increase the enchantment levels on them. So this right here, we have a golden chest plate with project projectile protection one. Now in order to make that projectile protection two, there's two methods. You can either take another projectile protection one and throw it in into the uh, enchanting slot, into the enchanting slot, and you will get projectile, projectile protection two. This costs six enchantment levels. That is one way to do that. Or, you can take Projectile Protection 1, and you can take a book of Projectile Protection 1, and you'll get Projectile Protection 2. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now this gets a little complicated though, once you start to go, go up in the levels and you want to keep increasing levels. For instance, if you take, uh, let's see, a Golden Chest Plate with project Protection 3, and you want to make that Protection 4, okay, you think, Hmm, okay, I have a Protection 2 book and a Protection 3 chest plate. You think this would work, so okay, you throw that in. What What do you get here? Protection 3. That's not working. Um, that's because whatever you're trying to increase, the second thing has to be the same, at least the same number as the first one, the same value. So this is 3, this is only 2 you have to have something that's at least three and that will give you protection four. Now you can use this with a book or you can use this with a chest plate. 
it doesn't matter you can use either method but it has to be the same number and yeah that's about it for enchanting armor tools it's the same thing between armor and tools um as far as increasing levels goes